The Artemis program is basically this generation's Apollo program. Apollo in the 1960s and 70s sent 12 people to the surface of the moon. Artemis is the new program to take men and women to the lunar south pole. And so there's a whole different set of scientific objectives um, that we're going to be pursuing as part of the Artemis program. And NSPG, the Nevada Space Proving Grounds, that is the NNSS's effort to support the Artemis program, to support astronaut training as well as equipment testing by NASA and NASA's commercial, academic, and national lab customers. I'm Dr. Michael Zanetti. I'm from NASA Marshall Space Flight Center. Uh, we came out to the uh, uh, NNSS in order to uh, test the kinematic navigation and cartography knapsack, which is a backpack-mounted mobile LiDAR scanner that allows us to make ultra-high resolution 3D maps of essentially whatever we walk around. So when you have such high resolution topography, you can see every, every rock, every nook and cranny. Uh, understand the geologic processes that are gonna be acting on the moon. They're all more or less replicated out here uh, at the NNSS. Training out here will be uh, critical and fundamental for understanding uh, what astronauts see on the moon. One of the main reasons that we're interested in using LiDAR technology for terrain mapping and navigation, the target sites for Artemis are at the lunar south pole, which has incredibly difficult and challenging illumination conditions. The sun never rises more than three degrees above the horizon. While we're mapping, we're also getting our own personal ground track, sort of like a line on, on Google Maps, but without GPS. These types of features uh, allow us to test navigation aids. How do you know where you are on the moon when line of sight might fail? The system itself consists of a, a LIDAR unit, that's a light detection and ranging, that measures uh, the distance from the sensor to any objects that we can see. And this system spins around and captures millions of points per second. We couple that data to uh, an inertial measurement unit, or IMU, and that gives us our yaw, pitch, and roll, and orientation for each of those individual million point per second shots. It's a modular unit. It's not just for people to wear on their backs. This is a, a unit that we can attach to uh, vehicles or really completely strip down and, and put on very small rovers. Another project we have at uh, Marshall Space Flight Center is using this exact same technology for autonomous roving uh, from small rovers, autonomous exploration mapping, as well as multi-asset rover swarm uh, capabilities for lunar construction and infrastructure building. So we're scanning out to the sides of us and immediately behind us, uh, but not in front of us. Just capturing a whole series of, of points that in post-processing, we're gonna stitch together into a big, long 3D map. So if you think of like how a computer scanner works, you're just scanning over the page while we're just scanning over the surface. And we're capturing out uh, about 70 meters to each side of us. We're getting more or less 110 meter, 140 meter wide swath. Yeah, so that's a tree. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be some kind of different ride. Look over at your right. It falls off pretty good. Yeah, I know. We can't forget that every single Apollo astronaut that stepped foot on the surface of the moon first came to the Nevada test site in the 1960s. NASA wants to bring Artemis astronauts back to the site to train in those same locations. This is a really interesting environment that is not well replicated anywhere else on, on Earth where you've got a large density of these craters in close proximity to one another. Very lunar-like landscape. What we've just done here is we, we drove by five or six, maybe even seven of these 50 meter, 100 meter diameter depressions. That's what makes the NNSS very unique for training for the lunar surface. NASA and their partners, they need a place to train in full size craters in realistic, challenging environments. And we have that in spades out here at the site. But it's not just the natural features, 
It's a combination of the features, the craters, our infrastructure, our skilled scientists and skilled craft, our secure environment. There's a plethora of reasons for why NASA and their partners are coming back to the NNSS. And so for NSPG, we're happy to support NASA and their partners in those efforts. Our motto for the program is that the moon and Mars run through Mercury. For one priceless moment, in the whole history of man, all the people on this earth are truly one.